Hello, I am recording and videotaping myself because Block One insisted that I be in the video. So you're welcome to see all of this. So here's today. We are going to be writing our, uh, at this point, this is our fourth paragraph. It may be a fifth if you have a couple more reasons, but this is your fourth body paragraph or not body paragraph, your fourth paragraph in your essay. Um, at this time, um, you have written two super solid reasons, okay? And you have your introduction and you have really pushed your point, okay? But it is, if you are arguing, it is critical, 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 critical to acknowledge the other side. And that is where this paragraph comes into play. This is where you let your reader know, hey, I've researched this, I know what you're gonna say, okay? So this is called the counterclaim rebuttal paragraph. And this is typically after you put your reason. So you have your reason paragraph, your reason paragraph, and here this one goes. So your counterclaim, and I want you to write this down in your, in your writer's notebook, your counterclaim is when you are writing, you acknowledge the other side, okay? So this is a statement or two. Um, we'll just say it's an acknowledgement of the other side. So in this case, our very first argumentative piece of writing for our eighth grade year this year, in this case, you're acknowledging the other side. So if you're arguing that simulated violent games are great for kids, acknowledging the other side is other people are going to say that, no, they're not great for kids. All right, I'll give you a second to write that down. All right, so you will start with your counterclaim, and then your rebuttal is when you prove the counterclaim wrong. And this is all in one paragraph. So the rebuttal is when you prove the counterclaim or the other side wrong. Take a second, write that down. Okay, the other thing I really want to point out is that these need to be specific reasons. Some people, like one of the most difficult things is that people aren't specific with their counterclaim. And so it's not enough to prove somebody wrong. If you're not specific enough and well-researched enough, you're not acknowledging your reader to say, I know that you believe this. If you're just kind of broad, it doesn't quite, you're not quite proving it wrong. I'll show you what that means here in a second. Now, when you go to write a counterclaim, you don't necessarily want everybody to say the same thing. Other people may say. So I wanna show you, I wanna refresh your memory. If you go to the writing folder on Schoology when it's time to start, you don't have to do this now, but when it's time to start, if you go to the writing folder on Schoology, and if you remember, we have this transition words um, piece of paper. If you click on it, It will load, hopefully. And maybe, oh, there it goes. Okay. So, here. So, if you are showing that one idea is different from the other, don't always use some people say, other people say. Okay, you want to kind of switch it up. You want to be a little different, all right? So you could say, on the other hand, in contrast, all right? So that's what, I mean, you can say other people will say that's fine, but don't get stuck using the same transition words, okay? So if you guys remember, I, in my example, was arguing that they're not good, right? Remember how, that, how I was arguing that? So I'm going to acknowledge the other side, which is that they are beneficial. So I'm going to start with a transition word because it's great to have transition words. It keeps your paper flowing smoothly. Okay. So I'm going to say in contrast, um, video games or uh, games with simulated violence, games with simulated violence are sometimes considered to be beneficial for young children. That is not enough for a counterclaim. Can somebody tell me why it is not enough for the counterclaim? It is not specific enough. There is no detail. So I need to continue with my counterclaim and I need to give a reason why, okay? 
So games with simulated violence are sometimes considered to be beneficial children. So we can say, people say that these games, guys, I'm, my face is too large here. I'm just going to get, well, there we go. I'll just put myself, I'll just float around here. I'll set myself right there. We'll say, um, people say that these games are helpful for children because they can learn skills like leadership and teamwork. All right. Now, I am specific, right? If I wanted to add evidence, maybe you found something that was really good for the other side. You totally could add evidence here. That is fine. You don't have to as long as you have enough evidence throughout your essay. You do not have to. Okay. Okay. So now that I have been specific enough, I said leadership and I said teamwork, right? And if you don't quite know what the other side's going to say, ask around. There's people in the classroom who have a, a, opposite opinions than you. Research a little bit. There's people out there who have opposite opinions of you. And it's better to acknowledge those opposite opinions because it makes you more well-rounded on issues too, okay? So this is where you kind of, this is where you prove them wrong. So I can say leadership and teamwork are great, but the risks are worse than the benefits. How is leadership a great skill when young children are acting out fake violence in real situations? And if I wanted to add evidence there, I could. Okay? So, and then the last thing I'm going to do is add another, because I have here... I have my rebuttal. I kind of want to just make it super solid. So I'm going to add another sentence and kind of wrap it up. Okay. Remember, you always need a bottom butt on your paragraph. So we could say, um, oh, that's a question. Um, we could say, at the end of the day, the negative skills outweigh any positive Any positive experiences gains, gained? Okay. So, if again, if you notice, counterclaim is about half, rebuttal is about half. It is in the same paragraph. Okay. All right. So, you're going to use the rest of the period to work on this paragraph. And then, as you finish up, you can always go back. Make sure that the first three paragraphs are great. You have your intro. You have two super strong body paragraphs. Make sure that your words are showing good, good tone, that you could, your tone is clear and everybody knows what you believe, okay? Um, but, yeah, you have the rest of the period to work on this.